Hi, welcome back to a tutorial on how to internally route your audio uh, so that you can play music from your computer and then essentially feed it into softwares like Touch Designer. Today's tutorial is super simple and it's not specifically just for Touch Designer, but this is mostly what people come to my channel for, so we'll be doing that under the guise of that. Um, if that didn't make sense, basically in a Touch Designer context, what you're able to do uh, after this tutorial is play music from Spotify and it will be fed through as an audio device in and then you can analyze it and do audio device out so you can basically trial all your audio reactive visuals in real time through Spotify, YouTube or whatever internal audio source. Awesome. Okay, step one is to go to this website. I'll include it in a description below. i uh, just going to pull up my um, recording device, make sure everything is good. So we want to go to this website here, uh, VB Audio Software, and download the Windows or Mac driver that is relevant for you. Once downloaded, you will have uh, this, and you can just run the setup. Um, you might want to extract this out into a folder, but you can also just run the setup like so. Click OK. My screen has gone black, but that is all good. And you will get a pop-up. Mine has already been installed, so no need to worry about that. Now, if I right click here and go to uh, sounds, I'll essentially show you what has happened. So you should have a new um, playback device and a new uh, recording device. So we have playback, which will be cable input and then recording device, which is uh, cable output. So what this means is that, uh, for example, when I change on Windows, oh, you can't see it um, down here, but I have my, maybe I can, can I drag my toolbar up? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, when I click this button here to change my audio input, um, I can switch it to cable input. And then when I play music, and if I disable touch, uh, if I disable that in touch designer, um, if I play music now, I won't actually be able to hear anything. Um, and the reason is, is that the audio is being internally routed, um, through this cable input and then to, uh, the cable output, which is a mic microphone input of sorts. Basically now, if we go into um, Touch Designer or your software of choice and get your audio device in, so we want to set up a microphone or an audio device being plugged in, and then we set the device here to cable output. And if I press play, um, well, you can see we already have it set up here, but we're receiving the audio from um, Spotify. And if I click pause, then it pauses like so. Then simply, in order to hear it, you just want to connect it to an audio device out. Make sure on the device you change it from default to whatever your headphones are. So um, this is my headphones here and I have my speakers here. And so I'm going to do it for my headphones and then press play. And that needs to be on. And you should be able to hear it. Now, I hope that wasn't uh, too fast of a tutorial, but that's essentially the whole thing. It's super simple and I just wanted to throw this video up there online um, for anyone to follow if there was any point of confusion and this was like a really terrible tutorial let me know and i'll quickly redo it very quick job but otherwise like and subscribe is greatly appreciated if you haven't checked out my content before i upload touch designer tutorials to create like sort of audio reactive visuals and a whole bunch of things and i have a patreon that you can also go support me on and download any of the projects that i upload there uh, for just a few bucks a month but yeah that's pretty much it Hope this all um, made sense and uh, have a great day.